Hi guys, this is just another thanks for tuning in to my channel. So today is Monday, December 22nd. I'm about to get ready to go to work. I am going to do a holiday look using, and I've already gotten started. I'm using the uh, Marc Jacobs Black Light Single Shadow that I showed you guys before. A real pretty um, black shimmery color. I'm going to wear the Marc Jacobs Foundation. I got a request to do my lashes on camera. So I'm going to do that today using these butterfly lashes that I just got from the um, beauty supply store. These are number 48. And what else? What else? And so I've already gotten started. I have my tape on. I put my base down as my, um, I use the LA Girls Pro Conceal in Toast. And I just use this just to even up my lid color. And then I did use a primer. I used the Urban Decay Primer Potion. And in my transition, I just used my Dance the Tides first. Then I went in with Oktoberfest. No, this is Cocoa Beer. I'm sorry. This is Cocoa Beer from Makeup Geek. It looks exactly like Oktoberfest or real similar. And then I deepened it up a little bit with this pretty burgundy color from the Reveal 2 palette. And then before I put the shadow down, I'm going to just put a base down. I'm going to use this color. It's a color tattoo. The color is Pomegranate, Pomegranate Punk. Yeah, Pomegranate. Pome am I pronouncing that right? pomegranate pomegranate pump and I'm gonna just put that on my finger I just want a dark base just to have that shadow just to give it something to really stick to I could put a black down let me use this I'm going to blend that the edge out with that um, burgundy color. So I am going to work today for most of the day, I guess. And then I'm, I am going to get off a little early because I have some running around to do. I still have to finish shopping, mainly just for food items. my elf shadow brush and I'm just gonna pack it pack it pack it pack it pack it one real good and spray it with some fix plus to eliminate as much fallout as possible but I um I don't have on my foundation or anything so if I if it falls out that's fine I can just clean it up that's why I like to put my foundation on last so I can really clean up and I'm just gonna really pack that on That color is so pretty and I'm sorry this light for some reason it's just really not that good for some reason I don't know why in the camera it's not looking right but I'll come back in a different light I love this color That's pretty much it. I'm going to just blend that out again with blend out that top with some more of that crease color. So the top edge of that will be smooth. And that's pretty much it for my eye. Got a top liner. Um, put on my concealer underneath and then do my I don't want to do my under eye color until I have my foundation on. So I'll be back. That is looking so, so, so pretty. I'll be back. Okay, I am back. The eyes are done with the exception of the eyeliner and lashes. I've already concealed under my eyes, around my mouth. As you can see, it's a little lighter. I use Fawn. Fawn is what I use when I want my 
under eye concealer to stand out a little more. I don't always like a highlighted look or an extreme highlighted look under my eye. But when I do, I use Fawn. And I'm not even going for an extreme look, but I do want it a little brighter under there. I, this is a pump. So I'm just going to pump out just a little bit. And just go ahead and dab that just all over. And then just start working it in. I used um, the face primer that I use is the Scandinavia. And I just lightly go over that highlight, but I'm not. Um, trying to go over my highlight but sometimes just to make sure I get it all blended I kind of go over just a little bit because I want it all to be blended and that is just a super thin layer of foundation I'm going to add a little more I love this foundation And again, I'll come in better lighting so you guys can see. I'm going to switch brushes. Just making sure my hairline is blended. I um, My hair has been braided since November 3rd. And so last night I went through and just redid some braids at the top. And I'm, I re-dipped them in hot water. So I'm going to take these down. So that they'll have a fresh crinkle look. And I'm going to set that under eye first. Just dropped my brush. And I'm going to set it with banana powder. And I like banana powder, but... I hardly ever use it. Like I said, I don't usually go for the highlighted look. And I make sure when I do use it, I just use a small amount. And I don't let it bake. You know how sometimes you can just let it sit there and just bake. I have fine lines under my eyes, so that's not something I want to do. Because it'll settle right into my lines. So I just get it in there real good. And just underneath my eyes. I don't want to highlight my chin with that. I'm going to take my brush and dust that off. It's a nice subtle highlight. But then I'll set my whole face with True Match. My phone is ringing, so I'm going to go ahead and finish this and then um, put my blush on and come back for my under eye. I'll be back. Okay, guys, so I have my lash right here. I just have it on some tweezers. I'm going to take this glue. It's, it's called Adria Strip Lash Glue. Andrea. Just something I found at Walgreens. comes like that. And I just brush it across. This is only like my second time using this glue. So I don't know if I really like it or not. Let that get tacky. I'm going to zoom y'all in a little bit.
So what I like to do, I blow on my lash. When I put other people's lashes on, I do not blow on it. But I blow on my own. I just like to lay it down right in the center and then work it from one on one corner and then work the other corner. So let's see if this will let me do it on camera. And the key is for it to be tacky. If it's not tacky enough, then it causes a lot of problems. So I'm just going to lay that down. If it comes back on the tweezer, that means it's not tacky enough, and that's what happened. But I'll go ahead and put one corner in place, and then put the other corner in place. I gotta learn how to use that glue, but basically that's it. So I just lay it down in the center, tuck one corner, tuck the other corner, and then kind of just go through and push it up in place. And that's basically it. I'll put my eyeliner, my top liquid liner on the top, and then my color on the bottom. And come right back. Okay, so the only thing I'm doing now is just taking this small smudger brush, smudge brush. I got it from um, Target. It's an e.l.f. brush. And I'm just running this color that I use in my crease right underneath my waterline. I have my eyes lined in black in my waterline and then I'm just rub running this right underneath and kind of just smudging that out. And that's it put on a lip, take my hair down, and I'll see you guys in a better um, light setting. Okay, hi guys. So this is the finished look. I put on Ruby Woo as my um, lipstick, and I put a gloss on top because I don't really like how dry it is. And yeah, so this is kind of midday. My makeup is holding up pretty good. Um, Got to go run some errands, and then that's it. I hope you guys have a merry, merry Christmas. Let me know if you have any questions, and I'll see you guys in my next video.